and welcome to your gold market update charts of interest for today tuesday the 17th of january mike smith senior analyst at go markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today of course with the us markets close last night for martin luther king day we had a positive session in europe which has produced a little bit of a lead of course we are in the early stages of the earnings season in the us and that ramps up this week a little bit and also worth note is just keep an eye on the china covid situation at this stage there is no further headlines that seem to be influencing markets. US futures are just below neutral in early Asian trading, not really moving significantly. Asian indices are cautious. The ASX is fluctuating between 0.2% to the downside and neutral for most of the session so far. Uh, European equity futures are also pointing near neutral. The VIX is down below 20, which is positive. Just suggest the markets are taking a pause and wait until the US opens later today after the long weekend us dollar index dropped to eight month lows and there really was a little bit of a pickup yesterday but it doesn't look sustainable gold has paused over that 1900 level trading around 1920 and copper has also retraced a little bit from a key 420 level we talked about oil pushing up towards the top of the range it's failed to push through that resistance but it's still sitting quite pretty underneath 85 on the brent crude cfd contract one of the big stories over the last couple of days has been cryptos. We saw Bitcoin surge yesterday, gapped up after the weekend, pushed over 20,000 and has hit highs not seen since early November. We are seeing some follow through in Asia today. It's up around about 21. Looks as though it could be the subject of some buying pressure going forward. On the data front, obviously, we've got some earnings reporting before US market open today, but little in the way of US data. However, before that, we've got China GDP, German CPI and UK jobs all been relatively important in terms of where we are globally with the economic slowdown. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. The GB pound yen looks very interesting from a chart point of view. We came down and tested the lows we hit just at the start of the year there and look as though we are moving higher. Again, plenty of upside in this. Should we break this key level at around about 157, which we're actually testing right now, there is obviously those UK jobs out this afternoon, but uh, nevertheless, this looks very interesting technically going forward. On the ASX, A2 Milk caught our eye this morning. Uh, we have a breach of a resistance, almost an ascending triangle formation there, uh, but we see it pushing higher through $7. If we get any higher move than that, then that could be worth consideration. If look on a weekly chart, you can see the context of this and why $7 looks quite important. We tested it in both August and March last year. In the medium term, there's plenty of upside in this uh, with a potential move up to around about $9. That 8.86 line we've just put on there could be long-term resistance, as could be this 200 MA that's sitting there at around about 8.50. Either way, plenty of upside in this. Even if we make it to 8.50, that's a significant move higher. Uh, let's say 7.20, a potential entry. That's 18%. So it may take some time to get there if indeed the buying pressure is sustainable. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.